Now we are going to talk about one of the easiest but very effective seven basic quality tools. This is about a root cause analysis tool which can be used to structure a brainstorming session. That's right. I'm going to give you some information about the very famous and useful fishbone diagram. Fishbone diagram is also known as the Ishikawa diagram. It is a cause and effect diagram that helps managers to track down the reasons for imperfections, variations, defects or failures. The fishbone diagram identifies many possible causes for an effect or problem and that is why you can use it to structure a brainstorming session. When a team's thinking tends to fall into a hollow and you feel there is no way out, an Ishikawa diagram can come to help. For example, most of the time we tend to blame the people for any problem. The fishbone diagram prevents us from falling into this trap. The diagram looks just like a fish skeleton with the problem at its head and the causes for the problem feeding into the spine. Once all the causes that underline the problem have been identified, managers can start looking for solutions to ensure that the problem doesn't become a recurring one. So how can you do that? Let us look at the steps while you construct the cause and effect diagram. Step number one, you start by deciding your problem statement and write it on the center within a box. Step number two, you should analyze the major cause of the problem and write them down next to the problem statement horizontally. Step number three, now you can go on with categorizing the causes as branches of the midvein. You can use the categories like mankind, machines, method, measurement, material and environment or uh, mother nature just to make it six M's. Step number four, using the brainstorming technique, ask questions like why is it happening and find the answer to each cause. Step number five, the process does not stop here. You need to continue to ask why and generate deeper levels of causes. Step number six, as you do this, you will realize that you are getting closer and closer to the causes and effects of the problem and reaching nearer to the solution. And that's it. In a simple yet effective way, you will reach your solution in no time. I can tell you about various situations where this technique has proven to be so useful and saved valuable time for many organizations. As they say, time is money. You can use this technique to indirectly save a lot of money. So next time you are stuck with a problem, you know exactly what to do. If you think there are too many causes, then you can apply Pareto to zero down on vital few causes. I have discussed Pareto's principle in another video. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like it and share it so that others can also benefit. Subscribe to my channels to learn about more quality tools. Some of them are really advanced tools because cause and effect diagram was a very basic, basic, one of the seven basic QC tools, but very effective. Until then, stay motivated and never stop learning. Happy learning!